How much shock do I add to my swimming pool? With over 8 million residential pools in the U.S., ranging in size from 5,000 gallons to over 30,000 gallons, the amount of shock you need to treat a swimming pool really isn't a one-size-fits-all answer. But it is an easy answer to get to. To figure out how much shock you need to put in your swimming pool, all you need to know is the total volume of your swimming pool in gallons. You can get this in three different ways. Number one, you can of course call the pool company that built your pool. They should have your dimensions and volume on hand. Number two, use a pool volume calculator online. You'll need the dimensions of your pool for accuracy. Or number three, calculate your pool volume yourself. We'll walk you through it right now. The pool volume equation for a rectangular pool is length times width times average depth times 7.5. Start by calculating your average depth. That's your shallow end depth plus your deep end depth divided by two. And then you can calculate the rest. Once you have your pool volume in gallons, look on the package of shock to see how many pounds or pods you need. There should be a chart right on the package. For example, this one asks for one pound of shock for every 10,000 gallons. Since this pool is around 21,000 gallons, we'll round up and add about three pounds of shock. Always round up to make sure your pool gets enough chlorine. How do I add shock to my pool? First, you wanna make sure your pool water is balanced. So test your pool water. Take your test strip, dip it in the water about 18 inches down for two seconds. Pull it out and don't shake off the water. You can either compare it to the side of the bottle or text a picture of it to 484123 to get customized instructions for which chemicals your pool water needs. Once your pool water is good to go, it's time to add shock. Ideally, you wanna wait until sundown to add shock because the UV rays burn off the very chlorine you're putting into your pool. You should leave the pool uncovered overnight to allow the shock to work and also not damage the cover. Now, there are a number of articles and videos online telling you different methods for applying shock to your pool. The only instructions you need to follow are the ones on the package in your hand. Put on your safety goggles and rubber gloves. The instructions on these pods and these granules tell us to add them directly to the pool, broadcasting the product evenly over a wide area in the deepest part of the pool. After pouring the shock or plopping the pods into the pool water, you'll want to take your pool brush and disperse those granules so they don't sit in one spot. Can I add algicide and shock at the same time? Short answer, no. Let the shock bite the algae first, then add algicide about 24 hours afterwards to finish the job and prevent future algae blooms. Can I add too much shock to a swimming pool? It's tough to add too much shock to your swimming pool. When you're measuring the amount of shock to put in your pool, it's okay to round up. And in fact, it's recommended. You'd have to put an excessive amount of shock in your pool to truly cause dangerous swimming conditions. Swimming in a pool with an extremely high chlorine level may cause skin, hair, and eye irritation, but that's why you should test your pool water regularly to make sure chlorine levels are between one and four parts per million. That's it for now. To learn more about pool shock, watch our video titled, Can You Put Too Much Shock in a Pool? This is Megan D for a clean, clear swimming pool. Until later.